From hot spots and hidden gems to lots of local flavor, it's your guide to LA the unscripted way from the beautiful Omni La Costa Resort and Spa in Carlsbad, California. everyone and welcome to LA Unscripted. I'm Dana Devon and here at the Omni La Costa Resort and Spa there are countless stunning spaces to sit, enjoy the view, maybe even have a nice glass of wine. Right now Jasmine Simpkins is doing that very thing in a different location in a very different way. Hi I'm Terrence Stevenson. I'm Khalil Kinsey. And we are the owners of Offhand Wine Bar. Off Hand Wine Bar is a wine bar that has a heavy focus on West Coast natural winemakers. Off Hand is an extension of our crew, West Side Winos, and our uh, kind of unconventional, casual approach to wine. This is West Side Winos, good hey, soup. Good soup. Wine is often uh, treated as a very serious kind of thing, and we want to bring a little fun to it. So, Off Hand is the way that we introduce ourselves. To be honest, the reason we picked Santa Monica is because Santa Monica picked us. We're West Siders, we know, born and raised here in Los Angeles. Our other partner is also a California native as well. He found the space and he knew the concept that we had and he was like, hey, I, I got a good space for you guys, would you like to take it? And we were like, absolutely. How did you learn how to swirl so good? Just years of practice. Years of practice. It's all in the wrist. It's all the, okay. <laughs> This is actually two operations in one. Um, by day it's Please Enjoy Coffee Bar, and by night it's Offhand. Please Enjoy the coffee side is open from, yeah, 7 to 4 p.m. And then Offhand opens at 5 to midnight. It really does transform. The lights get dimmer, uh, the music gets louder, the volume overall, right, from the people to, to everything gets, gets a little turned up. And then the wine starts flowing. We offer uh, weekly wine flights uh, selected by our partner Justin, and we offer education as well. Every Friday we call it flight school because we love to give knowledge to everybody. We only pick four wines at a time, so you won't get over overload of information. Yeah, I see what you did there. Flight school. Yeah, you got I caught it. that. Yeah, yep, I caught yep. that. <laughs> so it changes every Friday, and then it's available every day. Lick of the wrist. There you go. And smell it. You gotta teach me that, um, what, how, what do you call aeration. it? Aeration. Yes, the aeration. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've gotta learn how to do that. Okay, wait. Mm -hmm. I like this one. There's definitely food yeah. here, so and it's like Khalil likes to say, enough to keep you here. We have some great small bites, charcuterie boards, cheese plates, marinated olives, a few other things. Mm -hmm. We are very well known for our grilled cheese sandwich here. Would you say that like you guys get people who come in all day long, who we come have. for coffee and come back again at night? Oh yeah, some people just close down the cafe and stick around till the wine. There's such a rich history of black community and black business here in Santa Monica. In many ways, us being here is you know carrying on tradition. That was so much fun, and so was this. Head to Echo Park and take a ride on La Swan James. Yep, that's the name of the pedal boat on a lake that's steeped in history. We're the number one thing to do in LA on TripAdvisor right now. So whether you're local, out of state, out of the country even, people from internationally have this on their agenda to do. Can you tell me a little bit about Echo Park Lake? In 1890, this was a man-made reservoir. Slightly after that, they decided to build a boathouse here. You know, back in the 1900s, this was kind of where LA somewhat started. Charlie Chaplin had his first movie in this area. In the 1910s, the boathouse was completed, and that's when the population started changing, and that's when Echo Park started becoming what it is today. And the reason Echo Park got its name is the city councilman who was uh, conducting construction here could actually hear his echoes from the park against the mountains and the foothills.
Back in 2017, we reintroduced the swan boats to the location, which were here 100 years ago. And since then, over the past three years, we've been serving over 150,000 customers every single year. Kids, families, couples coming out for date nights, just kind of a day out of the house. Here at Echo Park Lake, we take safety very seriously. So you've already signed your waiver. Let's go ahead and get your life jacket on and buckle. And do these swans have names? These swans have the, whatever you want to name it, you can name it. Some of the staff name them La Swan James. I want to ride in La Swan James. Right. I'm doing it! Me and La Swan James! To me, this seems like something really safe that people can do during the pandemic. We require you come with your same household. You have to have a mask on while you're in line, but once you're out there, you can take your mask off and enjoy an hour on the water. At night, it's wonderful. Each swan boat has a LED light on it, and it illuminates the water while you're pedaling. You get to see the, all the downtown LA skyline. You see the fountain. You guys, this is so much fun. It's so peaceful and it's so great to be outdoors. But more than that, it's actually a really great workout. And I'm talking for this. Come out here and meet LaSwan James. You're gonna love it. to LA Unscripted from the Omni La Costa Resort and Spa in Carlsbad, California. Now, if you didn't already think our Olivia is the coolest chick on the planet, you will after this. Can you smell the leather? It's biker babe Dave Bartoli riding into the newest celebrity-owned hotspot. There's a fun new restaurant in downtown LA, but it's more than just a restaurant. It's more of an experience, and I'm taking my bike to get there. Well, if you get back to the essence of it, motorcycles are cool. Um, they've been cool for a very long time, which is why they're in films and adverts and pop videos. And motorcycle culture is a thing that a lot of people relate to, even if they don't ride. And it has a community. And that community isn't always very well served. It, it, you know, quite often motorcycle venues are spit and sawdust, and you don't get a great experience. And so they're not really attractive to people that think bikes are cool, but don't ride. So we wanted to create a space that celebrated moto culture and moto people. The Bike Shed is a home for people that love bikes and the people that love the people that love bikes to come and meet other like-minded people in a beautiful setting, a restaurant, a barbershop, a tattoo studio, retail, and um, just frankly a really great space to, to come and hang. LA really feels like a bit of a melting pot, just like London, and we felt that, you know, we know that there are more bikers, riders in LA than there is anywhere, and it was just a natural fit for us, but we love the idea of there is, it's so diverse, and especially here in the Arts District in downtown, literally it's like we've taken our Shoreditch venue in London and literally put it here, and it just feels exactly the same. LA is arguably the natural cultural home for motorcycle yeah. culture. You are going to take us on quite the tour. I'm very excited. Where are we going to start? We're going to start right here at the bar. <laughs> it's the best place to start. Lovely bar, no TVs. Okay. And then follow me around here, lovely lounge. Our sofas are all brought from London. We've got a three chair tattoo studio, four chair barber shop, so you can come and get ink get a trim, hang out. I love that it's it. all open. Everyone can just hang out and then kind of see right. in. It's, it's great, it's very like inclusive. I like Absolutely. that. Absolutely, and that's what it's about for us. It's about the art. And you mentioned that this wasn't just for bikers, it was for anybody, right? Exactly, exactly. And you can see the, the gear that's around, literally anyone can buy this stuff. Great hoodies, great t-shirts, great caps, trousers. I'm, I'm literally art. You can even buy art here. So we're going to go and check out the secret space at the Ooh, back. I love the secret space. Don't tell, <laughs> Don't oh, tell anyone. Look at this wall. I know. The wine cellar, very important. Biking's just kind of cool. So I think it's just relatable. It stands for something. And, and we just want to be the natural home of that. And also, we want to preserve motorcycle culture for the future. From biker baddies to body blush, don't forget Mother's Day is just around the corner. So let's get style smart and add some sparkle to the special occasion. 
And if you can't get to the spa, think big, shop small, and get the spa treatment at home with Skinshine Beauty Body Blush. Oh, you guys, I love this stuff so much. I've been using this for years. I love it. First of all, it's it's so clean. It's so beautiful. It makes your skin look so glowy. So it kind of gives you like a blush to your skin. So like if you don't necessarily want to use self tanner or like say you're going somewhere and your arms are really pale, you just do it. Plus it makes you look really toned, believe it or not. And it feels so great on your skin. Feel that. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Sometimes you want a little shimmer and shine. Exactly. You know, and you need a little color. A hundred percent. Especially, you know, now we're in spring, coming out of winter. So sometimes we want that little blush. And if you put it like kind of on your clavicle and right, it's like oh, so yes. pretty right next to your face and it comes in two different scents. Mm. And ladies, I love it because it's made with golden jojoba oil and other natural essential oils. So it's great for the body all over. Yeah. The love. whole family can use this. Love this for Mother's Day. 100%. Every mom, you know, if you don't know someone's size, mm -hmm. you don't know their preferences, here we go. Body Love blush. It. One of my favorites. Scripted from the magical Omni La Costa Resort and Spa. Now, are you on the hunt for the perfect Mother's Day gift for that lady in your life? There is such a special occasion coming up, and to celebrate, we brought in our sponsor and BFF, Seema Cohen. Hi, Seema. Thanks yeah, for coming. So good to see you. Good Thank see you for having me. Mother's Day is quickly approaching, and I'm so excited to share my topics and gift ideas for all the moms in our life. That's so good. I haven't done any shopping yet, so you're saving my life. Thank I you. I am. I am, as always. What's the first thing? All right. One thing every mother needs to get through her day is the proper nourishment and nutrition. That's why Suja Organic crafts juices and shots with daily wellness and nutrition in mind. This one, it has strawberry, raspberry, lemon, honey. I know, amazing. Blended with organic fruits, veggies, and functional ingredients, Suja Organic empowers you with the essential needed to take charge of your day. Moms love the nutrition, but I feel like they need a little pampering too, right? That's right. Are you ready to rosé all day? Always. Always. <laughs> the perfect way to wrap up a gift for mom this Mother's Day is with a bottle of Martini and Rossi's sparkling rosé. Inspired by the famous Piedmont region, this finely balanced pumante uses notes of orange zest that create a delightfully crisp and easy beverage to sip and enjoy. Martini and Rossi believes that Time is best shared together. So there is nothing like bringing loved ones together this Mother's Day over a glass of Martini and Rossi sparkling rosé. Um, I'm, I'm a dog mom. Does it work for me too? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Of course, just, of course. I'll just take all of it. Yes. Them. I'm just kidding. I'll save some for everyone, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, see, Matt, I see bread. Yes, not just any bread. This one is my top pick for a quick snack. Brazi Bite makes a delicious grain-free version of Brazilian cheese bread that uses wholesome ingredients to make the perfect snack or meal for the whole family. I can't wait any longer. Founded by a busy mother, these compact and easy to make snacks are perfect for all moms on the go. Just minutes in the oven or air fryer and they come out crispy on the outside and fluffy inside and will give you an absolutely delicious Mother's Day bite. All right, so I've had my fill of bread. What's next for mom? All right, moms always worry, right? Here is one way to eliminate worry from all of our mom's life. Did you know your electronic devices produce harmful EMF and RF radiation? Safe sleeve cell phone and laptop cases use shielding technology to protect against 99.9% .9 of harmful EMF radiation. So it goes right over That's the cell right. phone like a regular case. Exactly. That's cool. And yeah, moms are always giving their kids like Laptops, tablets, tablets, iPads. This is perfect for them. Exactly. In addition to the cases, they also release an RF blocking blanket, which will leave you and your family feeling protected and cozy. Now I have ideas for my mom, so thank you. But you have one more, right? I have one more. Now that mom is taken care of, how about a special treat that's not only nutritious, but also the 
delicious. Coco Kai is a non-dairy, all-natural and sugar-free coconut yogurt that uses only four ingredients to create a delicious treat. What I love about that, if you can see here, she actually listed another mom owns, um, she lists her ingredients right at the front. She has absolutely nothing to hide. I love that. Coconut uh, yogurt is all the craze right now. Everybody loves it and apparently it's delicious. I haven't tried this one yet. Coco Kai's yogurt is exclusively available at Air One stores across Los Angeles or on the website at cococayogurt.com. Cheers. Cheers. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Now, this is the kind of place you'd want to wake up and have a nice cup of coffee from your stunning villa. But if you're back in LA, check out this totally cool coffee shop. For decades, Lemur Park has been the hub of the African-American community right here in Los Angeles with a host of amazing businesses like Haroon Coffee right here on Degnan Boulevard. Let's sip and see more. Haroon Coffee is a community hub, a coffee shop, and a art space in Los Angeles. The coffee shop uh, opened here in Lemur Park 2018. My parents, uh, my father in particular, was involved in the restaurant business. Um, I never really saw myself getting into it because I took so much time and um, you know was making a decent living working in the music industry, but I saw this as an opportunity to do something in the community. The Mert Park is uh, historically the social political center for all black life in Los Angeles. Uh, between here and Watts, in particular this space here that you're in, uh, was once owned by uh, Dale Davis and his brother, who had something called the Brockman Gallery. Um, it's been Papa West. It was a place called um, Elephant Walk at one point as well. Over here on Degnan, it's affectionately known as, or technically known as the Merck Park Village. So you'll see the type of activities that you, that are kind of synonymous with the village. Every day, or at least Saturday and Sundays, we have an open air market where vendors come out here. We have a drum circle that is you know, world renowned. Um, it used to be on Sundays, but pretty much every weekend now, you get a large gathering of people that, uh, Get gather around and play the djembe and congas. Yeah, so a lot of that hustle and bustle, I can assume, trickles into the coffee shop. This is a, a coffee company, it's a coffee shop, but we also sell tea. We have great matcha, um, we have great chai tea. Small villager? People really like our smoothies. We have the food truck, <laughs> which, is a, which is a dual concept. Um, uh, between me and my cousin Donnie Woods, it's a um, community kitchen is what we call it. In the morning we have a, a breakfast sandwich, we have vegan french toast, we have uh, a breakfast plate that includes pancakes, um, uh, potatoes, and your choice of uh, turkey bacon or vegan sausage. So good. Well, congrats to you because now this business has uh, allowed you to open a second location in downtown LA. How does that feel? It feels amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the goal for us is to continue opening them up in places that have communities. Downtown's a little bit smaller than this. It's more of a New York style grab and go uh, coffee experience, but it's right in the Diamond District. And, we get so much foot traffic down there already, so we're really excited about you know the promise of what that could become. So if there's one thing you can say about SoCal, we are always ahead of the exercise game, and we have the latest ways to get fit. This next place is proof, and I found it pretty shocking in a good way. You could hear beeping in three, two, one. Don't be surprised. Oh. <laughs> wow! Lightning Fit uses electromuscle stimulation on a suit on the outside of your body while you do functional fitness to amplify your muscular recruitment during your workout so you get a little bit more bang for your buck. Booty's coming up, tell me when. Wow! In terms of what electromuscle stimulation is for normal humans, the best way to describe it is what naturally happens inside of your body. So your brain signals your muscles to fire during a workout 
basically by putting the suit on on the outside, we're magnifying that from the outside in. We're uh, gonna give you an undersuit. It's just a full cotton outfit, uh, top and bottom. So the undersuit is made out of a material that helps to make the simulation as efficient as possible, getting to those muscle fibers to fire them. So in the suit, we have electrodes on nine major muscle groups. Next exercise, you're gonna punch across. You're gonna dip, punch, dip, okay. punch, dip, punch. Okay. There you go, good. Okay, now I'm gonna take up your abs and your chest pads. So just keep moving. Oh, I feel the abs. Is that enough? There come the abs. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it a boost and feel it out. How's that? Oh, the thigh muscles are like jumping off the bone. My butt feels like it's like doing its own kind of unique dance. Um. <laughs> It feels like it's like we don't really have large pieces of equipment uh, because we don't need them. By wearing the suit, we're magnifying that effort level without putting excess stress on your joints. You can burn roughly up to 700 calories in a workout, so it can be equal to about a two hour long training session in terms of a traditional training session, but you get that done in about 20 minutes. Do you feel like it's a lot harder to do the move? Yeah. You feel a little out of breath, harder. you feel a little, yeah, good. The experience is different for each person, so that's the beauty of what we do at Lightning Fit. Our clients range from busy executives to moms. And that is all the time we have for tonight. Thank you so much to the Omni La Costa Hotel and Resort here in Carlsbad, California. It's beautiful. Come check it out. Good night, everyone. We'll see you next time. Mwah.